I'm in Roblox Islands and today I'm just going to do a, a recap on the non-mundane flower farm. It's a bit confusing and I get a lot of questions about it but once you understand what combinations work and how the spacing works it's very easy and satisfying to see the colour that you get. So you can see my farm here behind me. It's all colour and I didn't place all of these. I just placed the fertiles and all of the other colour has spawned in after watering. So I want to explain the spacing a little bit better. So I'm going to use pink and blue roses which make purple as we know. So normally we would just put them in something like this and just put these others next to it and that's how you would normally you know set it up and this will work you will get purple but you will get a lot of mundane as well because the blue and the pink will work together and that will make the purple but the blue and the blue will try and work together as well and they'll make mundane same the pink and the pink will work together and make mundane and then if you do get a purple one the blue and the purple will try and work together and you'll get mundane and the pink and the purple will try and work together and then if there's a mundane close by the blue and the mundane will try and work together and so with the pink and the mundane so you have to eliminate the possibility of the combination reaching anything but what it's meant to so we only want the pink and the blue to reach so the first thing we need to do is we need to move them across so we've gone from this side by side layout so now we're going to do with a a buffer in between in the middle so i'll get out my plow and we will make it so that nothing can spawn in here so we don't want to spawn in here because then these flowers the one can reach it so we don't want anything in here so now this one and this one are the only one that they can reach each other and so, so it's the same combination but it's just got a space in between now to make it even more so that you get only color and no mundane at all you need to add spaces in this way so we need to take this one out and this one out and this and this so now we have the spacing that we need so we'll take out these ones as well so this is the spacing that we need but we also don't want anything to spawn in here we don't want any roses to spawn in here and we don't want them to spawn on the end as well because this one can still reach this block and this block and this block so we only want it to spawn over here because this flower won't be able to reach the new spawn over here because as i've said in previous videos that non-fertiles and mundanes can actually influence what the fertile makes so we only want the fertile to reach the one that we need it to reach so the pink and the blue that's the only one we want to reach so this layout so one space in the middle and two spaces between each combination these roses will only give purple you will only get purple you'll never get mundane the only way that you will get mundane here is if you put another rose in the middle here if you put another rose within two spaces it will be able to reach it so that's why in my garden here I alternate to save so you'll see here I've got my pink and blue roses making purple but I've got spaces in between before the next one now I've put three in here but you only need to have two two is the least amount so you can have just the daisy and the hyacinth and then another rose but i've got three just because that's the way it worked out and the rest i've got only three so i'll go up here where it might be able to see a bit better so here we got some roses so i've got my red and white roses and they've got the buffer in the middle so this red and white are the combination and they've made pink and that's because only the red and white 
can reach each other. This red can't reach this pink and this white can't reach this pink and they can't reach this next set of roses either. So that's the combination there. So I've got two in between. And I put the two in between because otherwise having two blank spaces is just a waste of space for me. So I've just put a different combination because the combination, the different types don't crossbreed either. So this white rose is not going to breed with this yellow daisy. So only the yellow daisies are going to breed together because they can't reach any other daisies. So they, this one can't even reach over here. Okay, so these ones because they've got that extra space in between. So yeah, uh, hopefully that has made it a little bit clearer for you and it's it's all in the spacing really once you've got the spacing right like I have got 1700 fertile flowers in this part of my garden and I only get color and I've helped friends set this up as well and they're getting the same result so it definitely works and I hopefully it'll work for you too and you can just use your basic one so if you've got your red lilies yeah yellow hyacinths and maybe your yellow daisies just use the basics and put them together and you don't need a big farm you can just start with a few small ones like just get a couple of combinations going and you'll find it will grow quite quickly because if you're getting all color then you're going to get fertiles and then you can just move on to the next combination so if you've got your red lilies and you get your black you'll eventually get fertile black move on and make some other colors and other combinations it's as easy as that you can grow all of these from your basic ones so your basic ones start out like your red okay and your yellow and your red and your yellow your red and your blue like it, it, you start with your basics and even with the daffodils get your red and your red and your yellow and red get them started and you'll grow from there and you'll eventually get them all same with your hibiscus everything starts from the basic colors you can progress there's no steps to skip you don't need anything special you just need to start with your basics so your green and light green and your blue and eventually it will progress on and on until you get all of them so it's just a matter of starting with your basic ones and working your way up you can't expect to start with cyan lilies because you don't get them to start with you've got to start with your natural spawns and once you've got them going then you'll build up and eventually you'll get them all okay so i hope that has helped you a lot and if you still have questions you can come and see me on my island anytime when i am in public servers or when my shop is published i'm more than happy to answer questions and i will try and explain it as best i can through chat which is is not easy but i try my best and i hopefully that you guys can enjoy your farms a lot more with a lot more color Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.